Winter. Renowned pomo basket weaver and Dr. Mabel McKay, who I was fortunate to have known, explained the rules about the ancient times stories. Only tell them in winter, after the first frost and before the last frost. For Coast Miwok people, like all indigenous peoples of Central California, the landscape was nothing less than a richly layered text, a sacred book. Each feature of the natural world was a mnemonic peg on which individuals could see a story connected to other stories and thus know and find themselves home. Spring. Mabel McKay, she told me about this too. Coming out time, she said, which is how the season was described quite literally by many native California cultures. New growth, blossoms, sedge sprouting on creek banks, when, after winter, it is no longer safe to tell stories, not only because you must pay attention to where you are going, watchful for snakes and such, but because you too are coming out, becoming story. Summer. Something about the glare of noon, or near abouts noon, because summertime, that hour feels like eternity, the essence of the season itself, halfway between here and there, stopped. Something about the stillness of light and the motionless surface of the Green River. My family traces its history to the river. As indigenous people in Sonoma and Mendocino counties, we all do. My great-great-great-grandmother Supu was born near Petaluma. Her son, who was Tom Smith, would later build his ceremonial roundhouse on the Jenner Head. There, he preached about the importance of remembering our traditions, the rules of living with the land, Pointing to the river, he said, like that water, we are connected to everything, its memory. Fall. Mabel McKay used to say, it is a prayerful time. Pay attention because you are taking from the earth what you will need to live on during the winter. I imagine my ancestors hereabouts in this autumn twilight. Men and women sort through a cache of acorns spilled on the ground. Their faces and the rich designs in the upturned burden baskets flicker in the firelight. This is fall. Each story that rises from the landscape takes on its purple hue as far as I can see. The sky, like an upturned basket, reaches to the horizons. At this moment, I could turn it upright and carry it off. 